Gabby from Gabadashery and welcome to our new video channel. I decided to do a series of video blogs because I wanted to show you what we do behind the scenes here at Gabadashery and I thought I'd start with something that I love making which is just a very simple pair of summer shorts. Now I sell on Gabadashery my own custom made shorts that you can get with contrasting pockets or zips but I wanted to show you something that you can whip up in half an hour, it's really easy, it's just an elasticated waist so I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please do let us know what you think, you can comment and please subscribe. Thank you! Well hello, we're in voiceover mode now. So this is what you need, it's all very self-explanatory, all written out there. So here are my lovely turquoise shorts that I'm replicating and the fabric is right sides together with the fold along the right hand side where the short legs meet. And I'm just taking my chalk pen and I'm drawing with about a two centimeter seam allowance, just doing this by eye. And as you can see, I'm about to go straight up here because the elastic has already pulled in the fabric of these shorts, the turquoise shorts, but I want it to be straight up. And you also add another two inches for the waistband and I'm using a ruler because I can't draw straight lines. So I'm sorry you can't see those lovely white chalk lines that I drew, but these are of me cutting them out, so hopefully you can just follow the shape there. And here we are. So I wanted to show you a different way that if the fabric is not on the fold, this is two pieces together, right sides together, but it's not on the fold. And I'm going to trace around this pattern piece now without the two centimeter seam allowance because it's already in there. So I'm just tracing around that. And schoolboy error, I can see I'm just being an idiot because I should line up the lines, but yeah, anyway. So here are two pieces and we need to sew the sides together here to make a nice neat leg seam. And I'm just going to pin down the outside leg seam here and it's going very fast and that's not me in fast forward motion, that's just how quickly I pin. Okay, so here is my sewing machine. I'm on tension five. You could probably do about four. I've got uh, length and width on three and I'm on straight stitch A. Now we're finally sewing. So I'm being a good girl. I'm back stitching at the beginning, which I will do at the end as well. That's just to hold the stitches in place and of course removing all the pins as I go. So now it's all sewn up and it's lovely straight seam. And I'm going to use my pinking shears to stop the fabric from fraying. Now pinking scissors have a serrated zigzag edge, but you could of course use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. It's just a quick, easy way to do it with these scissors. So now you can open it up and you just want to iron the seam flat. had that iron switched on and it wasn't just a fake iron not doing anything. Now they're laid out flat on top of each other, we're just going to pin the curves together. Now there is a difference in width between the two pieces because one's been sewn together for the leg seam and the other was already folded, but that's absolutely fine because that's just more room for your derriere. So now both curves are nicely pinned, we're just going to sew each of them at a 1.5 seam allowance, back stitching at the beginning and the end. So I'm finishing my seams again with the pinking shears. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you my trick, how to make it look like shorts, yay! Well, don't worry, it will look like shorts. So this is the bottom little V, and we're going to pin here, which is basically your crotch. Oh, I do love this shot. Nice one, Rachel. So let's sew the crotch. Uh, start with a back stitch, and you want to sew along where the pins are at a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, and I'm going to show you how to pivot. So to pivot on any corner like this, you want to bring your hand wheel down to place the needle in, lift the sewing machine foot, turn the fabric, and put the sewing foot back down and continue sewing. Okay, so let's make the casing for our elastic. I'm measuring a two centimeter hem at the top so that it's nicely enclosed and I'm just rolling it over and holding it in place and pressing it with a proper hot iron this time and you want to do this all the way around. So measure your elastic. Mine is about 1.5 inches wide. So I want the elastic casing to be about another 0.5 inches wider so that there's a lot of room to move the elastic through it because if you sew it a little bit off the line, it's gonna be a nightmare to put the elastic in. So now I'm turning it over again, this time by two inches. I'm pressing it in place and pinning it. Okay, so back to the sewing machine and remember to leave a gap to insert the elastic. Now sew as close to the fold as possible because you want to catch the hem of the fold underneath. So when you get to about an inch before the centre, you want to back stitch so you've got a nice gap. Now take your elastic right round to the waist and stretch it a little bit, not too much, and give it about another inch so that you've got your waist plus an inch. Now push a big safety pin through the top of the elastic, and this is a really tough safety pin, and you want to thread it the whole way through your casing. It's really fun this bit. Okay, so carry on until both sides of the elastic are through and hey presto! So connect them with this safety pin so you can try them on. And here is me trying them on in the mirror, looking a little bit strange I admit, but I'm just seeing if they fit and noticing that the stripes don't match up at all. Well hello there! So I'm taking out the safety pin from the elastic and you want to have the overlap of about an inch so put a pin in there instead, that was a really tough pin. So I placed the elastic under the sewing machine foot and changed to the zigzag stitch. Now keep the length the same but change the width to the furthest it goes, mine's five, because you want it to be a nice wide zigzag stitch. Now you use zigzag on stretchy materials like elastic because you want it to be very solid and not break like a straight stitch could. Now I'm doing this a few times just over and over just to make it really strong. So you want to just push the elastic back into the casing, close it up all nice and neat and you're going to sew over the gap. Pop a pin in it and just sew, making sure you backstitch at the beginning at the end at the same place as the line from before. You just want to smooth out the elastic, make sure it's nice and even. Now they look like shorts, nearly there! 
So to end with, my least favourite bit, the hemming. So it's just the hemming the legs of the shorts. Now I've turned this over by two centimetres and I'm just giving it a good press all the way round. Doing this on both legs, of course, but one at a time. And then I turn over again by two centimetres, press again and pin in place. So close to the fold and take the pins out as you sew. And now we're done! We've got a lovely pair of shorts, so now you just have to wear them and look good and ignore those non-matching stripes. Oh, and Hops loves them! Yay! Bye! So you just threw a ball at like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. But you can see the.